a meeting together at 5.04 on Tuesday, December 3rd. Are there any amendments to the agenda? No. Um, welcome guests, that is, the members of the Budget Committee. Do you want to state your names for the record? George Longenecker, I'm here for Conservation and Budget. Uh, Field Dragon. And we have someone here for the first item at 5.05, or right on time. Middlesex Conservation Commission. Do you want to state your name for the record? Sure, Dave Shepard. Thank you. Conservation and you wanted Commission. to give us, uh, tell us about uh, applying for a recreational trails grant. Yes. Um, so as you are probably aware, the commission over the last few years has been working on a trail on the town forest, which we are calling the Chase's Mountain Trail. And we have it uh, marked and cut out, but it does need some rock work, you know, some rock steps and some um, stabilization that is kind of beyond sort of your average volunteers' uh, abilities. So we were hoping to apply for a recreational trail program grant from the State Forest and Parks Department um, to be able to hire a trail crew to do that work, hopefully this coming summer. And so how much is the grant that you want to apply for? Well, um, we have an estimate that it would be, and I hopefully can refine this a little bit, but it, you know, as far as a ballpark estimate to get started with was that it would be about four weeks of crew time and the crew is about 7,400 a week, so it's roughly 29 or so thousand dollars. Oh, wait, is there something in here? Yes, oh. there is. I'm oh, sorry. Um, That's on the second page, Mary. Oh, thank you. And the, the town um, is obligated to do a 20% match. So basically you figure out the entire budget, you back 20% off, and that's what you apply for. And then the town makes up 20%, which can be, um, realistically, probably most of that would have to be in cash, but we can use volunteer labor to, to make up some portion of our match. I guess however much we can get, but you know, how much volunteers could do in this project is not entirely clear. I'm sure we could do some. Very limited, though. Yeah, there, there's certain aspects of it. Um, the rock work part, except for maybe, you know, assistance that they might need, it's not too technical. Uh, we might be able to help out with it. But it would be during the week, too, so people would have to be available to do work during the week. Or we might be able to do some stuff on the weekends that, you know, would be part of the whole project. Cause there so is, it would be between three and $5,000? I haven't done my math uh, on the 20%. 5600 would be... Yeah, about... 20%, yeah. Right. I'm sorry? 5600 would be 20%. Right. But some of that is, again, going to be the in-kind kind of yeah. labor that we provide. Tell me your name again. So my name's Ross Lee Blappin. Hi, Ross. I'm Mary Skinner. Uh, and do you know everybody on the board? Um, I think I've been to one of these once before, so I've met And there, it but, is our yeah, treasurer. Yes. It's Phil Hayek. Steve Martin. Nice to meet Hi, you. Hi, Ross. Hi. Good so would we be able to use any money from the conservation fund that you set aside, or would this have to be cash from our budget? No, no, it could come from the conservation fund. Um, it would be an allowable uh, um, use. How much do we have in that at this time? Do you, do well, you the last... The last... So Dorinda, remember? Yeah, can look it up. <laughs> We've got enough to cover this. Okay. We should have, yeah. yeah. The last number that we got, you know, reported to us was around four thousand, but I don't think that accounts for the last five thousand that right, would have been appropriated. Would. So it would be around nine, mm. um, which would be enough. So we could either do it out of our budget, or we could do it um, from the conservation commission fund. Yes. What do we call it? The conservation, the conservation fund. fund. Yeah. 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 One of the things that that I need to, to tech, tell you, because this is kind of an important is that it is a reimbursement program so the town would have to pay up front and then be reimbursed so we would have to be able to come up with you know at one point about the twenty eight thousand dollars and then in about a month's time from having billed that we would get reimbursed so i wasn't sure how much flexibility was in the town's budget because obviously we don't have twenty eight thousand dollars in the conservation fund so we couldn't pay the whole amount we could presumably do our match 
but the, the money we would be reimbursed would have to come initially from somewhere else. So would that be a problem for us? There, yeah, and there is 9000 in there now, $9,033. Okay. And um, no, at this point in time, I think you know, we could handle we, we it. Yeah. Some of that you were talking about maybe um, a little help on is some of the equipment? In kind. Probably not. For not this at all. Project. Yeah, because okay. it's 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 all you know foot trail and it's not motorized accessible, right. so it wouldn't. Yeah. No, probably not. Um, I think the equipment we had talked about was for the Shady Rail project. Oh yeah. Which yeah. is the Shady Rail project? I can't even remember it. It's the <clears throat> uh, stream bank restoration. Oh, right, right, right. Which is right. a movement. The, the one that nice. we're not so crazy about. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's a little beyond our scope. Yeah. Yeah, we knew that. <laughs> but, but anyway, yeah. Um, so one of the other questions that, that I guess I have would be, um, in addition to whether, you know, it would be possible to be able to pay up front for the money we would then be reimbursed, is that we, you know, if the, if the town is successful, if we, if we apply and we get the grant, um, we would, you know, select the contractor, and like we meaning the conservation commission or the, the town the yeah. to okay. us, perhaps, or however we wanted to work that out. But um, an obvious um, candidate for that would be the Vermont Youth Conservation Corps. They do stuff like this all the time. I thought that you would thought that that's who it would. Well, that is kind of like who we're kind of thinking we would probably. Because it says to be performed by the Vermont Youth Conservation Corps on our agenda. So. Yeah, and that's that's the most likely. I mean, we've talked to them a little bit about it, so they're aware of the project. Uh, but we don't have to hire them. There are other crews we could hire. On Northwood Stewardship Center was mentioned <clears> as another. Uh, organization that has a trail crew. Um, so I wasn't sure whether, if the town is going to contract contract with someone, is there any kind of requirement that we get so many bids or anything like that? Or how, how would that work? I don't know whether we have to do a bid on a grant, do we? Well, if it's a federal grant, you're going to have to do a bid. If there's federal money, yes. Yeah. There's no federal money, you're probably okay. I think it is federal money. Yeah. 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 I'll read behind you, Mary. And separate Bag. records kind of need to be kept for it because we have to account for it in the grant. Yeah. We spent all of it. We're also going to need to seek um, women owned and minority owned uh, businesses first and foremost. We're going to have to send out RFPs. Certificate of insurance would be required. So, and you're yeah. going to expect to be audited by the feds. So it's complicated. Yes. Well, do you think I think it'll say in the grant terms but too? No, quite a bit too. It? What's that? It'll say in the grant terms, like as you're applying, like all that it information. Should. Yeah, I don't no. think it would. I didn't see anything regarding that in that particular grant call, but we can. You could you could call them too and just yeah. ask them. I mean, but but, but the Sarah and and. Uh, <laughs> but before you go, I have so many facts for so many things. <laughs> We've done this before, right? We've had grants, right? We've had grants where, uh, for example, the FEMA buyout that involved uh, federal money. There were specific requirements of, you know, that um, uh, that go above and beyond normal municipal uh, contracts that we have. So. One of the, I think there was something where the federal government wanted to make sure that we had some sort of ethics policy in place. I don't think the board ever went through with that. That was one of the audit suggestions from the last time. But other than that, just what I said. But I mean, it's 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 extra work, but it's not impossible. It's not insurmountable. I would just and call the, another town that's yeah. dealt with this. And yeah. all of that just, stuff will come along yeah. if the yeah. grant is approved. Right. Yeah, I believe, you know, a lot of municipalities have gotten grants through this program yeah. in the past. Yeah. Right. So there would be some... Somebody's got an RFP yeah. package, yeah. yeah. So you're not supposed to ask us questions. We're supposed to ask you questions. <laughs> <laughs> okay, any questions by any other members yeah, of the board? Good idea. Oh, and just also, we did have to do this pre-application form just to be able to apply for the grant. Mm -hmm. yep. That was due October 31st. So. And, and did you give a copy of that to Sarah? Yes. Well, the blank form. I didn't have a copy of the re re build out form. Oh, you didn't? Yeah. Could I have a copy of the pre application? I don't think so. I think oh. I made copies for everybody over there. Oh, okay. Bill, can you, is there's a stack of stuff over there. 
I don't know if we need all of that, do we? You have everything um, in there. No, no, come on, this is what I want to check. Hey guys, can you sign our petitions while we're while you're waiting? I think one yours of them. Is all well, this yeah. one is for the WEC board, the Washington Co op board. It's like send my guys. Who's the WEC board? I didn't get any. This one. Oh, yeah, we got it. Let's see. 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 I got some. Yeah, you got the older map. Yeah, it's right. Okay, so the grant. Yeah, so you've seen the map. Yes, there is a map that. So that was the older. That's the so older what are you doing besides room. steps? Benching. Nice. Uh huh. What kind of bench? So not like sitting in bench. It's like you have a sleep slope where there's going to be a lot of erosion. Uh -huh. So you di you cut into the bank there and then you flatten it out so. You wouldn't have as much erosion happening. Are you going to do like court, any corduroying or stuff to hold so that you won't have water running Some down? Tension wall types of things. Yeah. Uh, potentially, there's two spots that I think that were potential for that, um, but that was going to leave it kind of for BYCC to, if they end up being the one to do it, to make that final decision. I think you signed it already. If it's mine. <laughs> Did you sign mine? Sure. Isn't this terrible? Mixing politics with business <laughs> of the town. <laughs> the only way to get a whole bunch of people together. Okay. Um, any other questions about the Middlesex Conservation Commission um, applying for a recreational trails grant from the Vermont Department of Forest Parks and Recreation? No. Nope. Nope. Okay. Are there? Are there? By the way, Dave. Um, hi, do we know what our chances are of getting this grant? Mm, I don't know. I mean, it's, I, I think, you know, I know they sort of say on their website what the pot of money is for this year and how it kind of gets apportioned to different kinds of trail projects. Mm -hmm. um, but I s assume it all depends how many applications they get in any given year, so it might be hard to tell. I mean, mm -hmm. they might have some idea in the past of just typically, you know, like what percentage applicants actually get awarded grants. Mm -hmm. well, so what kind of motion do we need here? I think we need one that... Uh, says Middlesex concert we well that we we approved their application for recreational trails grants you know from blah 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 Sarah will put the language in it's also being okay fronting the money right. well I don't think we have to do that well then it may be helpful for them in our motion that shows yeah when, that we, we're when we actually apply and be able to do that yeah right. yeah okay okay I'll make that motion yeah. Do you want to put a dollar figure there approved and also paying up front $29,000 or so approximately? I think and, we should do a price. But I think it should also have how much that. And, and we'll with that, less with than 20%. So yeah. all but 20% will come approved, back. Approved, uh, approved uh, applications for this grant and will pay up front $29,000 and expect to be re uh, reimbursed all. Uh, be reimbursed 80%. 80%. Right. right. Yeah, that's the motion I mean. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I second But I, I think that yeah. you should say approximately because, I mean, okay. these, yeah, these, yeah. these figures always change. Yeah, yeah. Fine. A little less controversial voice. All right, you've heard the motion. Any further discussion? If not, all those in favor Wait, say. Who seconded that? I did. Steve did. I heard that. All those in favor say aye. 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 And, the, and uh, all those opposed say no. Okay, we passed that. So now, are you oh, one making... last thing on that? Um, there will at some point be a requirement that Peter or I think maybe Peter, who is he? He's currently the chair. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he needs to sign off on right. the final. Yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. Well, that's. I mean, once we approve it, then right. we're obligated to take all the steps to make yeah. that happen. So Peter will do that. So are you also speaking to us at 5.15, we're pretty much on target, about uh, yeah. the amendment to the Conservation Fund guidance document? Right. Or are you speaking this is to us? Yes, that's yours. Oh, oh, oh. write the original document. I think these guys are yeah. And I'm that's sorry, do we have a copy of that in here? You do have a copy of that in there, and it's just, it's just those two changes, right? Yeah, yeah that's what okay, I said. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, wait a sec. Where are the two changes? There's second. You'll see the track changes stuff on the. This is a pre-allocation oh, yeah. form. Oh wait, on this one. Page two, Mary. 
approved fund activities and criteria for prioritizing the use of SPIRS funds. Oh, just where the lines are? Yeah. Yes. Those All right. Can you tell us why um, the conservation um, fund guidance document is being changed? Um, yes, I can explain to you why we were proposing this. Um, we were approached, and this may not even come to pass at this point, but it made us think about it. We were approached by the um, Winooski Natural Resources Conservation District um, in relation to the Shady Rill Stream Bank restoration. Um, at one point, at least, it looked like they needed some assistance from the town, you know, like a kind of a back sort of a thing. And asked us if we could provide some. So we looked at our fund guidance here to see if that would be an option. We thought it isn't really. The way it was constructed, it could only be used on town conserved land. So it would be okay for the town forest because of that. Um, but it, it didn't, it wasn't more broad than that for, um, for management purposes. So that caused us to think, well, that maybe we should, you know, get a little bit more flexibility should we want to use it by, by making the proposed change here. Um, we did want to maintain the original purpose of being, specific, you know, primarily to conserve property, not to spend all kinds of money on management activities on other things. So we want, that's, that's for our reason for the second change into the criteria. We wanted to just kind of emphasize that the primary purpose is, in fact, uh, conserve. conservation of land. Yeah, right. But we also did want to maybe create a little more flexibility for projects that might come along to be able to, I mean, it would still have to go through the same approval processes that it has all along. But yeah. And the mm -hmm. approval process is what? Well, someone brings something to the commission, we review it and decide if we think it's a worthy project, or it might come with that from us, too. And then it goes to you, the board, for final approval. So is this um, a prelude for the Winooski Conservation District asking you for money to do work on the Shady Rill Park? Um, it initially was, but at this point, they may have moved beyond that point. But it could come back. So yes, it is a possibility that that may be. And would that be something that you'd be likely to approve? Um, I think we were, uh, I think I'm speaking for the there's three of us here that probably could Correct me if I'm wrong here, but I think we were generally supportive of the concept, but we just didn't think we could, you know, because of the way it was written, we couldn't really approve that. Now, since then, you know, other things have come along that might be things we need to use the fund for, so we might have to rethink that between the trail project that we're talking to you about tonight, and then I guess there's also the possibility of a new parking area, you know, past Brian Redmond's house, that right. that might also need to potentially tap into this fund. So, you know, we'd have to take all that into account before we... Well, we've, um, I think, if I'm not misspeaking, that we have told them that we don't have town funds to use toward that yeah, project. We did say no. That was the reason. So I just want to make sure that you're aware that, that woman that came first upstairs and then she came down again. Select board, we've told them, because mm -hmm. they implied that we had led them on and that we were going to give them money, and we made it quite clear we weren't. So I don't want you to... No, to I not be aware of that, the current select board thinking I, I on that was project. I at that meeting that I'm aware of. It, so. well, just want to make sure. Can yeah. I ask a question? Like, sure. Yeah. On this, um, so if, when you're crossing out town conserved, does publicly owned automatically include town conserved? Yes. So that's why you can get rid of town yeah. conserved. Yeah. Okay. You just make it a little broader. Okay. So if there are states or something mm -hmm. like that as well. even fits. Federal. That yeah. all would okay. qualify as well. I was going to say about the notch road improvement to even if that happened we haven't had time to really discuss it in, in the conservation commission and we don't have the money right now to do mm -hmm. three different things the trail project is first that would be a really nice addition to uh, the resources we have once the people who climb hunger mountain find out about it it'll probably be used quite a bit it's got surprising it's running out a lot of traffic this year we were amazed i've been amazed at how many people yeah. tell me they've been up there that's a nice climb it is. Yeah. Not as long as uh, it's a pretty fast climb. Any other questions, comments about the uh, Conservation Commission's uh, uh, proposed amendment to the Conservation Fund guidance document? Mm -hmm. If not, is there a motion to approve uh, the changes? I'll make that motion. I'll second. Oh, you got that, Sarah? 
Yeah. Are you going to read it back, or we're just going to? Steve moved and Liz seconded approving the suggested change. The changes included in the. Yes. Yeah. Middlesex Conservation Fund guidance document and application fund authority. Oh, good. Okay, you've heard the motion. Any further discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say no. Chair votes yes. Good. We're Thank whipping you. right through our agenda. Thank you. Bye. Thanks for signing. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all the good work you do. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I was thinking I'd look quite we right. We have all these now. wonderful <laughs> resources. Is, it, is one of those mine? It is. How many are we supposed to get for the signatures? 75. 15? No. No, it's like seven. Oh, you only have to do that have, page. You only have to do that page. Yeah, 15. Yeah. So I could I just ask how this, this uh, reconsideration for the fire department got on the agenda again? Peter called me and said, put this on the agenda. And I said... Okay. Gotcha. Okay. So it's there. So it's there. So is anybody from the fire department here? Yep, I think they're they are. Right. They're waiting. Okay. Come on in, guys. All right. When do we have to have these signed by? Bill, would you mind signing my petition for select board, please? Can I sign yep. Hello. Hello. Have All a right. seat. You did, George. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Hi. Peter not make it back? He didn't. He never planned to be here. Oh. I mean, no, I don't think so. He, he, you know, it's such a long trip, and he hasn't seen his kids for a while, so I think he told did us. You talk to Jeff at all about the only question was whether he was going to call in. And yeah. I, now I remember he said, I can't call from Mexico. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just and I forgot right. that because yeah. I kept yeah. saying, if you have another few minutes. Be running this they may be expecting Jeff. Can we move to another um, thing? They're on at 530. Sure. Okay. Um, well, let's how about how can we do the treasurer's report out of time? Yeah, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's only you want to step out. No, no, no. It's just you're here for the budget. George was George. George. George left. Yeah. George left. So this is our only member of our with budget, the budget committee. committee, right? Oh my okay. God! Did he remember that he had budget? Oh, oh, there he is. Oh, how come you put your coat on? I didn't think we were doing any more budget. Well, we're doing it at five forty-five, but Jeff's late. It's just so there's not, there's not a lot. It's just with the changes that were made at the last. Yeah, I'll stay. Um. I sent out the final number, and I didn't have the budget committee's email addresses, so that's why I had Sarah send it to you guys. But um, so we're down to all the numbers have come in except. Is this for your treasurer's report as well as our budget workshop that we're starting? Yes. Okay. So that's part of that's what the treasurer's report was going to be, I guess. Um, so there's four items left we don't have confirmation numbers on, and um, that's the county tax. And they never come in until mid-January, do they? Right, that's usually pretty late. Um, New Year's last year's, right? Yeah. I've got plugged in there the same as last year. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? When they do, when they do it, does it go up by... On average, like three percent, two percent, nine percent. I think so. They just I, do it. I do. don't think they have a formula that um, comes in. Um, we just call them up and say, "What's the number?" And yeah. I think it's a. They have a formula they use to calculate it. So that's one of them. The other thing I wanted to bring up was computer maintenance. You guys had only initially plugged in a ten thousand that's the last the second to last category the last line the last line in the first in the under the administration yeah under um yeah so our regular maintenance for support service for um rb technologies is just under seven hundred dollars a month so, oh, so that we right there most is okay. we up most of it. Then we now then Nemric just put in a price increase oh. for their support service, and that went from fourteen hundred to five thousand. What? Which I they haven't had a rate increase in years, and to be quite honest, five thousand dollars is still a pretty good bargain for what you get from them. 
They should have done this incrementally. They should have done it incrementally, and that's what everybody's bitching about. But it's me. still pretty good. Well, and you know why they're doing that? Because the state's going to drop them. Right. That's their biggest customer. Yeah. Which means when the state changes, pretty much all the rest of us are going to have to change. So. So that and the loan puts it up to thirteen thousand four hundred and leaves nothing in the budget for anything else. And that means that if we're going to this new company, well, because we may uh, not stay with our right, we don't. You know, we we're not sure know. yet, and they may be, they may be a little cheaper. But I think we should stay with the number that our gave us. Too. You know, as a ballpark. Um, hmm. So I don't know if you want to put anything else in there. You know, for future whatever, but. That's added. Well, I mean, all those number. computers we were supposed to buy, we're doing yeah. that. That's we're doing that this year. Yeah. Um, so we don't have more, but we don't have more to buy. No. So what is it besides the county tax? And what else so, oh, well, it was the computer maintenance, okay. the county tax. The the other thing I wanted to bring up was well, um, not Welch Park, uh, Shady Rail, Where the swimming place. Oh. Um, that is Wrightsville? Yeah, the Beach Wrightsville Beach. Yeah, where is that? that number? Uh, that was a number that um, where was is in that? there. That's I'm what sorry. I'm trying to find. It's on the last page, Wrightsville Beach Dues. Recreation, it's the fifth item down. Okay, Wrightsville is the third one, the dues. Right. And that's not up to date? Well, I don't know where that number came from, so that's why I'm confused. If we got... Do you I not have a copy of the, of did the budget? Did we get something from that? got something really early on. I was it, that what it yeah. was? It came really early right. on? Confirmed tomorrow. Oh. Wait we a raised second. the price uh, for Bill doesn't something. have a copy of the, of the bu budget. Well, we're, we're making do here. But thank you. We don't have to break it. So sure. that was one that I was, in looking at it, I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. So I don't remember. Here, Bill, I made an extra copy. Because I don't have anything in my folder where... But it might have been real early. And then what else? And then the last one was, and I just, emergency management, and I just received that today. And oh, where is and that? And that's actually lower, and I don't even know what the new number is because I haven't been. But it is a little lower than that. But one. it is lower than. Did you say like half? He said he thought it was going to be about half. But we have everything else. Like okay, so it's on page. Health insurance is all in here. Everything is. And then emergency the other, management. Um, the, um, insurances, property insurance, those and are all. Um, the fire department mutual aid. Yep, that one came That's in one there. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Well, so the emergency management at three seven zero five. That is correct. No, no. emergency management is going to go down a little. Okay. Um, but that just came in today after I had done this. Okay, where's the soul searching coming in, folks? So, and this is. The bottom line on what you've got in your hand is with a 3% increase. And I sent you what it would be with for, the pay. for the pay. And that is. Turns um, into a little pay. So it's a little bit more, but. Okay. So, how many dollars between the three and the four? I mean, I'm not. Not so much. I mean, I sent it in the email. Yeah, I don't I have it on Here, I've got the email. Let's see. $1, Last year's anticipated, let's see. Do you have the... the a 3 percent, 4 percent would be... Well, you just have the percentages. You don't have the dollars. On the sheet that you got at the dollars. It's less than 4,000. Less than 4,000? Yes. Did you pass this to Dorinda? Mm -hmm. That's the emergency management. Oh, great. Okay. I'm sorry. Thank you, Sarah. So he's dropped it to 1900 it looks like. Wow. Well, there's a little bit of savings there. Nineteen, you said? Mm-hmm. Even? We're still that? talking about a double digit. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I, there's no, and I, no way we can yeah, go less. 
and I think, you know, as far as um, I'm concerned about the computer number. Yeah. And you think you should have, be higher? Well, that just covers yeah. the actuals. Right. That doesn't cover any unknowns. So, or, so with the NEMREC money, what's it? It, it pushes us, well, maybe 13. Five. The, what, the number, the number in here is the number that she has. Oh, thirteen four. Just, oh, okay. With, with just what we've got. It's just what we here. have. Those are. But there's nothing. But there's nothing in there for hardware. No, nothing for hardware. Nothing for repair. Or is the that include maintenance? Well, it's yeah, what they. It's support service and some maintenance. Seven thousand. So that's like eighty four hundred. We get year, like right? two hours yeah. a month or something in support services. So if we had a major problem, yeah, you would eat up all of those two hours and then. Oh some. yeah. So would two thousand dollars more on there be enough to cover extra maintenance? I'm not up on it. Or should it be yeah. more? Well, we're, we're going to be in pretty good shape. We're getting getting the With all of three them. new computers that are all going to be current operating system. Have you gotten those yet? So, uh, no, I'm I'm having to set up a uh, separate account. Yeah, tax exempt account. So it's a little the government account. It's a little tricky, but so we two you know for the listers and for for financial management and then Dorinda. Um, and it's, she's going to share with the listers when they need to do field work, which isn't that much. So that oh, oh and then we're going to replace that one over there with a with a Chromebook. Um, so that the only two then that we have um, are Marika's and Sarah's. And Sarah's yours runs Windows 10. Yeah. Yeah. And do you know with Marika's that also? Yeah, was, that finds that those two computers. Yeah, those are, yeah. So I don't think, so there's no other computer replacement that we're going to need that's foreseen. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to do Chromebook. Chromebook, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think, is there any other hardware servers new? Um, Can we use that screen again, or do we want to use that screen again? Uh, we could if we, you know, I mean, it's a little laptop, and, you know. Yeah. Yeah, we, we can probably do that. I don't think we're going to need anything okay. really in hardware separate from yeah. the support and maintenance. Um, Remember, we got eight thousand dollars in dis discretionary fund too. Yeah. Although that's probably going to be cut four. because we didn't. Now, really what spend about it. our email? That's seven hundred dollars a year. Where would that fall under? We're probably going to need a separate line for those kinds of like, well, services or so something. So then we need line, to. I just did it. So yeah, that's four hundred. That was four hundred. Four hundred, yeah. And that's for a year. A year. Okay. For all the. So we're going to add a line on that. All the boxes. Yeah, probably that would be the best. The other thing is going to be the archiving, um, but that's we're going to buy that software. We're not going to we're not going to do a you know, monthly subscription. Well, how much is that going to be? Um, that software's between three and four hundred. So where do we put that? Office supplies? Yeah, probably somewhere in there. So we should add. But it's not going to be. It, it won't. It won't be in next year's budget. It'll. It'll be out of this year's budget, and then we'll. We'll own it. Okay. The email as well. The, the email is an annual thing. Yeah. The email. Okay, but so we have to put it so in. Back to the computer maintenance. Do we have to add to that? So I'm going to just. Thinking, no. No, I don't think so. He oh, says no. Because okay. yeah. yeah. we rounded up to fourteen thousand. Okay. You know, for, <laughs> oh, for, that's, no, but that that's would, a no. Co <laughs> coffee money, <laughs> but that would cover that. that would email. Cover whatever that email thing, so you can. Yeah, that, that would too. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, well, so it's a little short because you said email seven hundred here. No, four hundred. Four hundred. Oh, four hundred. I thought archive so was four hundred. Fourteen even. Fourteen even. You got that? Have you got that, Liz? So that's what? another six hundred. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna take computer, computer maintenance up to fourteen thousand. Oh. <laughs> Why did we take the mowing? I mean, the mowing is expensive, and it's we didn't put in the budget what this year's we did for this year on the mowing. Well, the mowing was a problem. Mowing? Was the guy retired? Yeah. Oh, the yeah. roadside mowing? No, the, the but the others. So yeah. there is mowing under 
Town property maintenance. Yeah, that one. What is that? Twenty six hundred dollars. It was two thousand last year. No, hold on. I'm looking at something else. Then um, that's where we moved it from that department to the other department. Or look at that. Where's the other one you're looking at? Um, Labor materials repair to cemetery. No, not that one. No town. Um, mowing the town B O R mowing, brush hogging, aerating. Oh, so that's right under rice field dues. We put in what they had left. I think because it's no, under the town property maintenance, because it's town property. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm looking at the, I'm looking at 2018-19 fiscal year. We actually spent 41.85. How come that came in at less than that? Yeah, but I thought, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure why. That's what I'm wondering. But what have we used so far, I guess, is for the 2019-20? So far? Have we used it all up? Mm, I would have to. It's fine. Just leave it. Um, these numbers were based on higher. what was presented. The mowing is all done by Mitch, and that's what he had in his budget. Okay. I don't even remember when Mitch gave us that budget. I don't know if I have those figures. But Mitch isn't the one who does the mowing, right? Doesn't he hire that out? Somewhere? Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. But um, I do okay. have that. Where is Mitch? When is under total recreation? He, he, he cut some stuff out. That's why I don't think he cut that some thing. stuff out. I mm -hmm. think. Yeah. Um, okay. Here, I got my notes on Mitch. It? Okay, because his his hours are dead. Has anybody talked to Mitch about? Um, didn't we raise the issue of a seminar and how we were paying for everything, but he's doing a lot of work for other towns for zoning? We have we discussed discuss that. There okay. Because I my, my notes but, indicate that he cut down his hours for mm -hmm. wages for rec, recreation. So he did. Yeah. Yeah. But that was the issue of the dues, conferences, travel. Okay. Because his total budget, which... So he included 24 mowings at $60 for Walt Kelly and 24 mowings okay. at, for the recreation field. And how much is the rec field? Uh, 110. And, and then there was brush hogging and the town clerk's mowing. I think it's the brush hogging that gets to be more expensive, and that's why it went over. Yeah. And Mitch does that himself? No, no he, he everything's he hired. hired out. It's just he de provides the budget for it. Right. Okay. So there's no action on this, right? There's no action. It's just I wanted everybody to have the final yep. numbers because we will have to do some full searching. So, you. Sarah, We're, when is our next meeting? Are we meeting? The 17th. We're meeting on the 17th. Because mm -hmm. I'm going to meeting on the 17th. And then when are we meeting in January? Well, I don't know. I have not have the calendar there, but I would assume it's the first. January and first uh, Tuesday in January. Is that the same? That doesn't go there. Wait a second, I'll tell you what it is. Uh, so that? this has to be finalized to be the seventh. Seventh. We have to have all the town reports ready for the book by when? The end of January? Well, yeah, like the, the 28th, isn't the, it? The larger issue is the town warning. So the town warning would probably be approved at your second meeting in January, and you should have a budget figure in that. I think the voters asked for you to say, shall we pass a, a budget of blah, blah, blah. And I think that's what you did last year, and people like that. So that's your biggest deadline right there. Oh. So we can do that on the 21st, you're mm -hmm. saying? You'll still make the 45-day deadline okay. for, I'm just going to double check because at my age, I need to double check everything. <laughs> so are we doing our soul searching on the 17th yeah, or are we doing our soul searching on the 7th? Well, I think there should be <laughs> I think we do it on the more 7th. than one. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be a couple of yeah. soul searching. Yes. I think this might be a couple of soul searching. Because I'm going to be on the phone for the 17th on the soul searching. <laughs> well, you will have done a lot of searching by then. <laughs> So do you need the budget committee back on the 17th? Well, I just, what, I mean, I think you guys just need to, if you have any input, which you more or less said last time you left, that you guys were kind of 
kind of in agreement and with what we come up with. So it would be if the board decides to, I guess, reduce any requested amount that if you wanted to be here to hear the reasoning for that. What's our percentage increase at right now with the 3%? Well, it's right at the bottom. It's, that's the one no. at the bottom. 11.55. No, yeah, it's 11.60. Yeah, it's 11 now. 11.60. Did we also add in the listers, increased yes. uh, hours for listers? Okay. Everything's in there. Well, wait a second. We just got $2,000 from having the emergency yeah, management go down. So that'll go down. Yep, so actually it might go the other way because I didn't plug that number in yet. So, um, find that. Okay. 1900, yep, yeah, 1800 down. And there's emergency. So, were you saying that the mowing figure should be higher based? I think it should be higher, but let's just leave it. You mean you can soul search, but nothing goes up? It just well, goes down? <laughs> not I'll go back and double check those. I mean, I would um, just be curious to see what we actually spent this okay. year, because I think it was more than that. Okay. But whatever. I could be confusing mowing, too, because there's a couple of mowings yeah. that are going there, on. There's two different ones. Yeah. You see the, well, you know, the wall Kelly mowing is separate. That's 2940. Right, I know. And then That's the what other mowing is 35. So if you add the two together, right, maybe we're safety. not overspent. Well, I, I think what, what you're it's remembering is that Paul talked to us about, which was, so was probably you that was you know, his budget, even, because the, there was a guy that he used to hire to do that. Roadside mowing. Not the roadside yeah. mowing. Oh, yeah. wasn't? Okay. No, no, not the Because that roadside so mower guy retired. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I saw those and minutes, and that sounds kind of interesting correct. to hire someone. Right. 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 We didn't. Yeah. 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 To hire someone to do the ditching. I read the minutes from last meeting. I mean, I think it would be fabulous to get somebody else to do that. So as we stand right now, it's 11.71. And that's with two two items, which last year I was just looking at the increase in county tax, and that was about a thousand dollars they went up last year. Which so, is like, and they have like a twenty-five thousand dollar budget, right? So it went from twenty-five to twenty-six, something like that. No, it was less than that. And so, and just, um, I mean, I know we're going to do more soul searching, but like in terms of the the roads, are we? Did we add in, you know, these? Uh, weather related damage mitigation like did who, we who were you talking to about heat <laughs> what <laughs> Steve did you and uh... <laughs> yeah don't use heat yeah. he's right here in the room <laughs> um, I meant I guess I meant um, yeah. Paul, well, I Paul. Meant. yeah I'm sorry <laughs> so did you that's a smarty yeah, yeah. okay so does that show up in the road gravel? No, that uh, or in hours what, or something. What we ended up doing, it shows up in. Uh, I'll find where we are here. Um, I think it's under summer maintenance. That's under summer maintenance. Yeah. yeah. And then that's you added a person up. in that for specialized services. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. We ended up with a separate section. It's the top of the second page. That second specialized page. services. Oh, perfect. That added forty thousand. Okay. For the At top of the third page. Yes. So third trucks page. means like an actual replacement, like no, another that, truck. No, that 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 is uh, hiring trucks, oh, okay. hiring some labor, mm -hmm. and renting an excavator. Okay, good. I can't remember. Is that for the ditching? Yes. Okay. Nice. We have to do it. Try to get caught up. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we have to. And everyone has to understand that this is different. Yeah. Different day and age now, folks. Yeah, but the thing is, I think they understand that. Well, I think there's some other things they might not understand, but I think that they get that. I don't think that's going to be a problem. So you quit. The only figures you changed on this were tonight. I mean, just two figures, right? That's no, it so far. Four. Yeah. Well, no, you only changed. Two. I only changed the emergency management number and the computer maintenance number. We've okay. still got two more outstanding. That yeah, but you just that doesn't make sense because you went from eleven five five to eleven seven one, and you actually decreased in the amount. 
Yeah, right. You decrease we went up the amount 601 of emergency and down 1,800 and another, so it has to be below 1155. That's what I thought, too. But then we... Um, we didn't. Those are the only two figures we changed, I the believe. The so the yeah, only the figure that's CGI out now is the county tax. Is that right? The county tax, and I don't know what the story is with Wrightsville Beach. Oh, that's... Sarah said that came in that came early? In. I might be wrong. I mean, I mean oh, just okay. gotten their blur, but not something else. But I will check with them tomorrow. All right. So. Okay, so did I plug in? Let me, maybe I put in... 1900 for emergency management, so that went down. And the other one that I changed was emerge, um, the computer. That went up 600. Well, it went up higher because it was. Yeah, it went from, went from 10,000. Well, it went from 14, So that's a 40% increase on that. Yeah, but it's only a $600 increase. Point being, $600 increase and an $1,800 decrease, increase. we should yeah, be. I will have to see why this isn't calculating. Now. More like 11.5%. It's still, we still got a cut. Yeah, it's. <coughs> that's probably a little bit more than that. That's probably pretty close. What, what's our target if we said we had one, officially or unofficially? We didn't have an official. What did we have last year? Does anybody have the book? 2%? I think mm -hmm. we were shooting for, weren't we? Or 2.5? I think so, yeah. yeah. When we started, you mean, Bill? When we yeah. started. Yeah, wow. I think so. <clears throat> Just out of curiosity, and I, because I'm, I'm, you know, I, I feel like the case can be made for this these weather-related changes. What happens if you take out that 40000 from there? What does it then become? If you took well, out the extra, and I'm not saying, I don't want to do that, I just no, want to I know. No, I understand that, but let me make a comment. If you took out that 40000 we would have to readjust have to some readjust of our other stuff. figures. Okay, so yeah. right. if it isn't like yeah, so simply it's not, taking it's not that as simple out. as that, yeah. okay. So never mind. I'll have to go back and check the formula. Think deeply some more. I don't We're going to have to dig deeper. Showing correct. Well, but, but then we can make a case for it. You know what I mean? I think that we you want to be smart. I know what you're saying, but emergency meeting. management went down 48%. Well, also, and who communicates it? And 48.72%. Right. And yeah. computer maintenance is 40% difference from last year. Something is. So, something isn't calculating somewhere. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, those are the only two figures. So we those changed. are right. I don't know why it's because you were in at thirteen four. Right. Right. Yeah. So we went up six and down eighteen. Yeah. So we're right. <laughs> well, know. let's just assume it's uh, below eleven point five. It's still. It's about eleven five somewhere. Yeah. Close to that. So well, eleven point four five. Okay. There what? You go. Oh, there you go. There you go. Alrighty. It was a little slow, was it? It might have been slow, but now it says 11.45. <laughs> Maybe they were hit it. Maybe no. it was just like a 3%. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes, you know. Yeah, you look I do that all the time. Okay, you know, I look at it. I, okay, how about 11.45? I like okay. that. Yep. Okay. All right. Now we only have, Thank what, you. about eight to get? No, nine? <laughs> Between eight and nine. Okay. Eight. That's not going to happen. Yes. I know, especially. And what would our four percent be? The new four percent. You're only talking a couple of thousand dollars. What was it? Steve had the number. He said four yeah. thousand. Four thousand. Four thousand. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, like a percentage increase. That's all. Oh. The same. About the same. Well, I turn another four thousand. Four thousand in there. You're not even. I mean, that's changing. Less than ten thousand. You change. You change. Let me see what happens. How about a new? You're gonna be a little over twelve, I think. How about a new truck? Or just under twelve. I think we got one there. Change one percent. We'll see how good Steve's math is. Okay, what well, I come up here? Oh, should be under twelve. Yeah, we're getting a greater after we're buying it after twelve. Eleven point seven nine. Wait, what's that now? She That's wants with to know 4%. what you want with a 4% oh. increase. Are you, is the she um, anyone we know? Yes. <laughs> Just like I looked over and couldn't think of your name. Yeah. Um, All right, I'm going to put my hand yeah. on Okay, it. so I'm going to put this back to three. It is true. Yeah. 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 Okay, so what do we forget? 
Okay, any so other questions? For that Not right now. now. How about you guys? Good. No, I think you answered the question. Did right we? Okay. Okay, so no soul searching tonight, huh? No. No. You gotta sleep on <laughs> a lot. <laughs> But no, but seriously, I really think it'd be a good idea for us to be able to um, articulate at town meeting um, the increase in the road repairs because of the weather and say, you know, why the, the budget overall is increasing. Because I'm sure a lot of it yeah. is the... Well, there, there's some the weather-related weather things there, but you don't want to say it's just the weather because it's, it's not. Some of it is because of oh, the right. construction projects we've done right. and got behind on some of the general right. maintenance. But you also got behind on them because of the weather, right? It's twofold. It's not just the weather. Right. I'm just saying. Yeah. Just so that we're... Well, I just left the WEC meeting and they kept, we kept saying, it's not that there are more storms and uh, it's that they're more severe. Yeah, they're more intense, yeah. More weird. <laughs> or weird. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think that one's better. Well, we're yeah. using the word severe because our yeah. budget is going away. Right. right. If Everybody you look at line item for a line item, you'll see more than just the highway department. Yeah. That's really. No, oh, well, I mean, you know, we've been way behind on our computer stuff, and that's blisters because of all yeah. the mandated stuff with that. That jumped like man hours just jumped ridiculously yeah. there. Yeah. The support system for the computer is that was a huge increase. Yeah. Um, so we have a lot yeah. of individual line items that really not just mm -hmm. highway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, wait a second. Why do we have 66% increase for the Conservation Commission? That doesn't make sense, does it? Because they're asked. They asked for consulting. Oh, because they asked for another thousand dollars for a consultant. What did you guys ask? No, that's the planning. That's the planning. Oh, planning. That was the planning commission. Planning. I'm sorry. Yeah. Conservation. Conservation was. Um, it went from fifteen hundred to twenty-five hundred. I'm just looking for anything that has a double-digit increase. Yeah. Um, the other thing, electricity. We were, you know, over budget in all of our electricity this year that just ended so you is know. everything green mountain power or is it no washington electric, washington electric but they had a, and green and green green green. they had a good yeah they had a sized increase yeah yeah and we're going to have another, another one. one yeah i mean you know it's, it's right so it's all these people doing net metering that are paying 15 dollars a yeah. month yeah. it's killing us we lost almost three hundred thousand dollars last year yeah. Yeah, conservation, we asked for the same. It was just five. Right, years. that's what it was, yeah. Yeah. Okay. No other questions, comments? No. All right. So on the 17th, I'll be bringing these with me. And, and uh, Dorinda, uh, thanks for sending it in advance. So if mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. are able to do that, then I could maybe print them out before we have yeah, a meeting Yeah, well, there the won't 17th. be any changes unless the county tax comes in and, you know, you're talking one, the only other one is the Shady Grill Beach, which... Wrightsville, yeah. I mean, Wrightsville, yeah. But we'll know that. I mean, she's going to call we tomorrow, won't so know, she can we, send a message. We right, but tax. we won't know the county tax one, and the other, you're probably not talking a huge no. difference. Well, in Wrightsville? Wrightsville. Yeah, I mean, that one's either. not going to change, have any impact at all. Okay. So these are pretty much good numbers. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thanks, really thanks for sticking around, around to yeah, us, yeah. guys. Thanks, thanks for the, You're welcome. Thank you thank mean you. forgetting thanks, your George. ear before you walked out? <laughs> I was sticking around to the fire. No, I forgot that we had some budget stuff. Yes. <laughs> we all try to forget. <laughs> Okay, ready for the fire department? Yep. Hey, fire department, Mark. Everybody, you left your stuff here. I know. Well, uh, I, I don't have anything from Riceville yet. You don't? Okay. I don't know where that number came from then. I'm freezing. <laughs> yes, this is because you're on a slab, a king cold slab. Oh, oh yeah, that's back. right. My feet are a little cold. Welcome to my world. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sarah. How's the radon? <laughs> oh, you mean you're really rubbing it in? <laughs> well, I'm curious if she sent it in. Did you send it in to the state? Not yet. I already have a reader, though. 
Okay, you guys, it, you it takes have so asked us to, to reconsider yep. our decision not to allocate 18000 toward, I thought it was 13000 toward the purchase of Plus a used replacement rescue vehicle. Was it thirteen or eighteen? Eighteen. Thirteen, 13 is 13. for the vehicle, and then the cap and lighting brings it up to eighteen. So I put together a little sheet of what the rescue brings to the fight. Um, so, because we didn't get a real good chance to, to, we know what the rescue does for us, um, and Thank you. we we just made some uh, assumptions that when we talk rescue, everybody knows what we mean. Um, so the big thing is that uh, unlike a lot of the, the other departments in the area, yep. we have a small rescue, and we're trying to keep that footprint small, whereas other departments are... Hmm? No, I'm making a couple. Um, other departments are enlarging theirs, so we're trying to keep ours small. And what is when you say we're trying to keep our rescue small? Is this meaning like a series of people who are trained to go out or does this mean physically the vehicle you the, want to the vehicle, vehicle? The, the vehicle okay uh, so when it. you say rescue you mean the vehicle right okay yes um so the the big thing that we want to keep the same is to take five to six people to a scene in that vehicle and and we're looking at whether it's this vehicle we get or one later down the road a a um, crew cab that would be the the crew cabin chassis and then we work on what we put on the back of it. Um, <clears throat> so basically what the rescue does is it brings extra people and all the equipment that we have on it to a scene that we can't, there's no way we could fit it on a fire truck. And fire trucks aren't me meant to carry that kind of equipment and we wouldn't try to want to build one that can carry all that equipment. Um, the, then the following is a list of everything we have on the on the rescue, wood cribbing, portable gas power light unit, chainsaw, circular saw, uh, gas for those, uh, battery and corded reciprocating saws, um, spare air bottles. You took these on every single mission that you go on? Every time that, that vehicle rolls, this stuff rolls with. How often does it roll? 38 times last year, I counted for you. Oh right, okay, so 38, so every time you went out? Or so is this so just the trucks stay loaded in the in the in the bay, in the in the station, so that we just come and get in the truck and go, and we have everything that we need with us, because when you're fighting a fire or have an emergency, getting coming back to the station to get something we forgot is yeah. not usually. Uh, yeah, truck. it's all ready to go. I yeah. mean, to, to give an example, mm -hmm. when we had the the fuel truck rollover up on the interstate, and we called for uh, AOT to come with a sign package to close off the highway, they don't have any trucks that are pre-positioned with all that stuff on it, so they have to respond from wherever they live to the, the facility down here, um, load up that stuff. They don't even have it pre-positioned. They have to grab all the signs and whatnot, load it up on a trailer, and then get to the truck. So they're like a four-hour lag time for when we request a sign package from them to it actually being deployed on the interstate. We could never respond if we didn't have vehicles loaded with all this equipment. Um, it just it, uh, it, it just wouldn't wouldn't work. Um, <clears throat> so then we have sign packages ourselves that you know, single sign packages to tell people about emergencies, um, ropes and PFDs, you know, uh, personal flotation devices. If we have to rescue people, I mean we've had to have people jump over the the fence down in the village here. We've had. Um, I haven't had to do any water rescues. We've trained with Berlin on doing water rescues. Um, we've had a, to use the ropes for accidents that are over the edge um, on the interstate, or we've had to use uh, equipment for cars that have gone down in the ditch up from Steve's house, pregnant woman that we had to bring out um, using our stoke stretcher. Um, we also have a gas powered generator. Currently it's tied into the gas tank. We, slide it out and then we can do scene lighting with that as opposed to the portable one if we have to do scene lighting someplace that's further away from the vehicle that we can't run extension cords to that's why we have the portable the stoke stretcher um, is for carrying people where a regular stretcher won't work 
and we have brooms for sweeping up uh, accident scenes and woodland fire tools, tarps. Um, we use those to lay out, like if we're using the air packs and whatnot, we'll lay those out so they cut clean as a staging area and replacement bottles. Plus, if there's a fire, we try to uh, cover up the, the home as best we can to protect what's left. Um, I don't think there's a disagreement that we don't, I don't think that we disagree that a rescue truck isn't necessary for the fire department. I don't think that's... Well, I'm, try, I'm trying to, sure. to get through what it is that it does and why mm -hmm. it's important to have one. Um, mm -hmm. the, the other thing with our current truck is the last two years we've averaged about a thousand, maybe maybe eleven hundred a year for fixing it. And now we're coming into, we're going to have to do rust repair. We all know that rust repair can be get expensive quickly. Um, so now we're, we're looking at the point of are we starting to throw good money after bad? And when we had, when we came to the budget meeting to present our budget, we had let you know this is what's coming down the pike, and then right after that, this truck kind of falls into our lap of, hey, this is a good deal. Um, <clears throat> we're looking at value-wise, that's about a $13,000 vehicle in its present state. So that's the number we're using as, as far as our budget that we're figuring. Uh, one thing that we, looked, we went back and looked at is as far as the lighting package, which is about $1,600, is uh, money that we've had from various donations and fundraisers and whatnot. Um, we could buy off on that, so that would lower the price. The other thing that we uh, look at doing, there, there's a, an estimate of $3,500 for the cap. Um, we could postpone the cap putting on um, to, to put that on later. Um, if we we talked about the, the Lawson's uh, thing. In what fact, do you mean the, the next, Lawson's thing? The, fundraiser. The fundraiser uh, that we talked about at the last meeting. Lawson's, Lawson's finest liquids. You know, the beer. Oh, right, 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 right. Did so you ever apply for that? The day after, I wrote a letter and, and yeah. gave it to Sarah. <laughs> yeah, I needed Peter. a lot of work, so I'm going to well, punch it up. Um, I got a feeling there's a bunch of people in line uh, for that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sure there is. We're not counting on that at all, but we. There's mm -hmm. also the Red Hen Bakery gives their tips. Yeah, Lawson's are like sixteen thousand right. dollars a month. So that's something to that. That's a couple thousand yeah. from Red Hen. Three thousand maybe. Why okay. did you write them all? Well, we could, yeah, you know, and they would have yeah. a picture of what we're going for. So. Um, tell me how old your current truck is. Nineteen eighty-six. And they have a lifespan of how long? <laughs> like twenty-five well, years. <laughs> okay, NFPA, which is the the, yeah. the people that write the yeah. fire. Uh, instructions and not regulations 25 years yeah 25 years yeah um so this one has no airbags hard steering wheel okay um single it has deck a carburetor <laughs> <laughs> and that cracks me up i don't know I'm old. <laughs> so um so you're um but is that for fire trucks or is that for um these regular trucks too Fire up, yeah. Fire up, yeah. Okay. And so, with getting this, with replacing this rescue with a new or newer vehicle, that's the last upgrade that we need for vehicles for quite some time. Um, because everything, even though engine six and ninety five, the reality of that is it lived on an Air Force base and didn't get abused um, on muddy roads or salty roads or could you tell me again I, I know you've talked about this at other meetings um but around um the replacement of the air um the breathing apparatus mm -hmm. that you need and the cost that that you anticipate and whether or not that that we required that to be um, a lump sum purchase or it could be done over time because um because to me, like that has to be a priority because of the safety of you guys in terms of the like what has to be done and and what that cost was going to be and so whether it was that cost. We're, out. we're looking at potentially in four years. What what's happening with those air packs is in four years, Scott, the company that makes them, mm -hmm. is going to stop supporting that model of air pack. Okay, right. So, what that means is for the the company that that inspects our packs and repairs them, as long as they have parts, it'll be fine. They can still be inspected and everything. So the earliest we would have to do any replacing would be four years. The likelihood is gonna be a couple years past that. 
the the reason we want to go with a lump sum, which was I think about fifty three thousand. 53 or 58, somewhere in that neighborhood. But that's not in this budget coming up. No, no I'm, I'm just asking. asking. So I'm trying to okay. determine. So the reason for for doing a lump sum swap is so that we all have, everybody's using the same type of equipment. Because the, the worst thing you want to do when you're going into an emergency mm -hmm. is have multiple staging of equipments, especially with breathing apparatus and how it operates. And the, the one that we're looking, the, the, the one that we've looked at so far, we haven't looked at a new Scott, but the MSA one that we looked at, um, it's sold locally, it's maintained locally, we don't have to get a company from Massachusetts to come up and, and do the inspections. Right and there. so had we talked about, because we know that we know that this is coming in say four to six years, minimum, uh, or the earliest four years, maybe a little bit later, have we, um, we, we talked about, you know, possibly it would have to be, wouldn't it have to be on the, um, uh, the town meeting as a separate voting line item you mean for the warning? town, yeah, to, oh, to, to set up vote, a fund? to set up a fund and, and to start money. saving money because, you know, I have a concern that in, you know, four or six years when we're asking for 58000 yeah. it's going to be a lot more. of money. Yeah. We didn't talk about setting up, we didn't, we didn't talk about financing. We gave you a heads up, this is what's coming down the road. The, right. the uh, financing of it hadn't even entered into okay. the conversation. We just gave you, here's the estimate, yep. today's dollars, what it's going to be four, six okay. years. And is that something that could be financed over a certain amount of time? Like, can you buy it on a loan? Or is it something where you just would have to, well, it's you, not like you, a truck. You, you, the town has access, I mean. You would take a note out. You would take just a like note a, out to just buy these not, things. I'm just wondering if that would also be a way of doing it as opposed to having it be in the line item. And we'll also look at, uh, you know. Do we do do we do notes that are that long term for that kind of? It's not yeah, really that's a, what I'm wondering yeah. too. I mean, yeah. it's not. Well, I mean, we can do it for yeah. 20 years. Hmm? We wouldn't do it for that we long. We wouldn't do it that long. We wouldn't want to do it that long. Do it like four, four years. Or you can take a note once for we make like this investment, how many years? Well, that vehicles, kind of we, it's supposed to be for as long, it, like with vehicles. For the life of the, the vehicle. Yeah. yeah. So, but, you know, the, you would want to stay, I would say, four years or something like that. But you could maybe. take it out for air masks. Or you can take a loan out for anything. The, the... To, to us, the but replacement we're of the rescue it like vehicle a capital project. is the first is our first priority right now because we're starting to have to spend a lot of money on it. Mm -hmm. um, Can I ask you a question? You said that you could cover. Are you done with your for questions? the moment? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, I just, I, I wanted to just, I, I remembered that we talked about that and that was a big purchase and I just want to see where it fits in in the time frame of everything. That's why we wanted to let you know. Yeah. You said that you you could cover the lighting pack of sixteen hundred dollars yourself with the, with the money you've raised. Have you, I mean, how much have you raised and what do you have? We have, um, in between our checking account and and uh, money markets, we have a, approximately twelve hundred dollars. Um, some of it's, not, I mean, twelve thousand dollars. Sorry, I'm sorry, <laughs> one decimal off. Um, so we have, I mean, we've done the 50-50 raffles up at the station. We did S'more Fest, because I forget the name of it, but last year we're doing it this year. Um, we've gotten donations when we respond to certain calls. Um, do we have that in the records that we keep the financial records? That's not ours. That's that's the our charitable organization's pot of money. Your 501c3? Yes. Have you shared that with us before? That amount? No. It's in the. I think it's in the town report, isn't it? No, I'm not no. in the report. I think it might. I thought it was in Bob's report. Oh, I don't know. It, it's not in the report I write up, but I know that. Um. Well, tell them what. I mean, we've been saving, you know, saving money in this account for. So we. And we've run a fundraising for the past three years specifically for. For the the, the camera. Right. For, for replacement, because we, we have a 15 year old thermal imaging camera that the batteries are starting to not last very long and it only does black and white. And we're looking at uh, replacing that with a light camera that we have on our other engine that has um, six different screens of black and white and color. It has a temperature readout, so especially important for in the wall fires. 
and it also has a range finder so like when we're looking up at a chimney how far away is that chimney are we going to be able to reach it um, plus the batteries they're lithium ion batteries they last much longer than the, the nickel metal hydrates um, <clears throat> and right now there there's a special on that we can get uh, a really good package with the camera and a truck mount and a five-year warranty versus no truck mount and a two-year warranty and it will save about eighteen hundred dollars and we're looking at using some of our um, and how much would that be right now it's uh, seven thousand two hundred three dollars so we're, we're looking at using um, some of our money that we've gotten through donations and then um, some of the money that we have in our budget for equipment so um, let me ask you one other question. You have a, you have a line item for stipends, and um, have have all of your people been paid for every time they've gone out on these 38 um, trips? No. What happens with stipends is you not only do you have to go to the call, but you have to show up to 75 percent of the training meetings and the business meetings in order to get that stipend. So if you don't sign, if you don't come to or have excused absences for um, you have to be to at least nine or have an excused absence either you're sick or there's you know, family issues that um, doesn't go against your your count but if you just don't show up then you, you've got to come and participate in the department in order to get the stipend stipends to each member ranged I think from thirty dollars to three hundred dollars for the year it's a year of getting up in the middle of the night so out of the three thousand, um, I'm just looking for. You spent like twenty four sixty. Does that sound right? Yeah. So um, I wasn't at last week's meeting, last select board meeting, um, but uh, I did review the minutes and. I mean, I think what I'm struggling with. There's a couple things that I'm struggling with. Is not that I don't think you guys need a new truck and that this truck is more than 25 years and it needs to be replaced, but that we're facing a really big budget increase right now for the rest of the budget and to present, to, to add on even more to this. I mean, I, I, have, I have to imagine that there's going to be another truck available next year. Um, and that I just, I, I, I don't know how we can, you know, add in another eighteen thousand dollars right now that would well that wouldn't go into the, i'll clarify this wouldn't go into the budget they're looking to buy this like ASAP. oh right now right now, now. For this so oh, it would come out which, of yeah. this year's because the, okay. the big thing with this truck is it's it's a known entity yeah. we know who's been maintaining it we know the condition of it right. we know the, the history of it it's already painted red they've taken the lights off of it but, but the light package um, isn't that large of a, of a cost to, to bring it and then the, to get the logo stickers for is... Um, we can do that through the place where we get the E901 signs is $10. So where'd the money come from? Where would the oh, money well, come from? Well, well that's just it. You don't. Yeah. It's yeah. not budget. It's, budget. it's, not, not, it's yeah. not budgeted. It would just be an over expenditure. I have to say, unless we're... you got a problem legally here. Because it's we time. haven't noticed it. No, you have a problem legally because if you're gonna if you're gonna seek bonds for this, if you're gonna seek if you're gonna go into debt over this, they have to have once again they have to be voted on by the town voters because you can buy all the trucks you want in the town that because the legislature has recognized that the roads need to be maintained. The legislature has not met recognized that other improvements. If you go into bond for other improvements, even buying computers, that's a completely different story. I thought last, that when they were here last meeting, that that question came up whether we could take a loan and well, not when it was legal under to take it. five thousand. If it was, was under a certain it, amount, we could. Like, as long as it's not financed for five years, but there is. I mean, you guys, if you approve it, you can approve it, but you might have to ratify it at the seventeenth meeting with some more legal, with just some legal research because. If you're going to go into if you're going to go into debt in the middle of the year for a non-highway equipment, I think you got a, I think you got an issue. That would be the same with the air compressors too. Is this the issue we ran into when we with the fire got fire the fire tank that has a tank? Fire. Fire. Was we had to have the I'm, I'm looking at the statute yeah. now, and it's just that if 
So, I don't to bore you guys, but you'd hate to, hate to send everybody down to buy a truck yeah. and then not have the money. Um, mm. So, the, the, the legislative body decides that the necessity demands improvements that the cost of the same will be too great to be paid out of, and this is what you can decide, ordinary annual income and revenue. Yeah, it's too great to be paid out of ordinary income. So I don't income. know. Well, the, if, <coughs> if we postpone the, the cap to either doing it with our with fundraising that we do out of our own and we pay for the lights, now we're down to 13000 for the truck itself. Right. I mean, you might be able to do it. It's just, it's, it's just uh, I just want to be sure. So, and, we, and we, the we, truck we, is, we, what, 2004 with 25,000 miles on it or something? Would you like to see the fund? Yeah. Sure. Um, but, uh, I, I guess my question is, so it's our 2004. 2000. When we set the tax. Yeah, 2004 with 23,000. Right. And so in 2024, so in, you know, six, five years, it'll be 20 years old, right? Is that right? Um, we're barely. Are you allowed, so are you allowed to drive these trucks more than five years? It's the recommended. NFPA is recommendation. Now, like Montpelier or Burlington, they would replace their equipment more frequently than that. Number one, they, they get used more. Mm -hmm. So they they wear out. Um, the, Did you guys the, see his photos? The military so doesn't do. They do a different thing where you you pay a purchase price for a vehicle, and every time it goes in for maintenance, be it routine maintenance or whatever, that's subtracted from the value. And when it gets down to zero, then it's sold off. It could be in perfect condition and nothing wrong with it, but it's because it's zeroed out in in the accounting system in the big mm -hmm. scheme of things yeah. in the military. So that's how we got engine six for shipping costs for Where, Japan. Why are they getting rid of it? Because they're upgrading or they're something. They're getting they bought a, a bigger big, truck. Bigger truck. Oh. So it's one with a big, big back where you could stand up. They can change in the back and everything else. And there's no rust on it at all. Which. Is so when you say that idea. yes, we can find another 2004 truck, we would have to go down south to find something without rust. You're not gonna. Find, very often find something. Why doesn't that one have rust? It sits in a garage all day. It's, it's Colchester Technical Rescue, so they don't they, they go out very little with it. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> and it's been maintained right and, there in the garage. And if we go after a used truck somewhere else, now we're into the go into like VTech mm -hmm. and have them find the used truck and build it for us. So now we're we're out of that thirteen thousand for the truck. And we're looking at you know anywhere from ballparking thirty to fifty thousand. Like a new truck, just the chassis, and with a with a box on it was was going to be like fifty three thousand. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the kind of numbers we're looking at. For of course, if you use the private money you had instead of buying a camera to buy this truck, then all you'd need was another thousand dollars. But that would totally wipe out. The money that we've done fundraising for, for and, and, and what about half? What will we do fundraising for <laughs> by taxing our residents? I mean, you know, it's all and, six of one, half dozen of another. And that that money that we use for fundraising is we get stuff down in the department that we don't ask the budget to do, like new chairs for the training room. So we have chairs that we can actually sit on and don't fall apart. We get. Uh, T-shirts and hats for people to wear around at events, so they can you show this is the face of the fire department, the Middlesex Fire Department. Um, we have neighbor or town open houses, and we invite the community to, although very few people show up. Uh, but we buy the food for that, um, trying to get show people what we're doing. Uh, we put on the um, stickers on the. The doors of Engine Six, um, so we 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 use it for things that we don't ask for in the budget. It's it's not yeah, money that, that we that we just oh yeah let's have a party. <laughs> no, I, I don't think any of us are suggesting that, but I think that it I think what Mary's saying does make sense. Of that, if you guys could contribute some of the money that you have raised on the side to support this truck, it's just it's a lot. It's a big ask, you know, at the last minute when we just I mean. Um, I'd have to look at the 
fund accounts, but a lot of them are earmarked for certain things too. People start off, you know, I want to give a hundred dollars like scholarship. Fund. You know, yeah. like, like, like a lot yeah. of it's the fast squad, mm -hmm. fast squad money. Um, the J we still have money in the JD account, which we were going to talk to the Picards <coughs> about using, and then. Uh, Use our sticker that has that little JD that we use on the E911 yeah. signs. Put that on the sides of the door, um, and that's where the $1,600 would come from. Um, but you know, a lot of them people gave at the 50/50 raffle because of this this tick camera, which is a you know a, a tick camera isn't a luxury item. It's really could be something that would be part mm -hmm. of. A, the operation of a fire department because it's the it's the camera that if somebody rolls their car on the interstate and you just have to scan with a camera and you can find if there's somebody that was thrown from that vehicle and is laying in the woods somewhere in the dark um, so it's a, it's a it identifies people it, it's that's a piece of equipment that would normally be put in the budget mm -hmm. but we're we're trying well, to it's do also it. an item we'd have to approve as well you can ask for it doesn't mean we would give it to you what um what's the time frame on this um i mean because we don't have peter here tonight i don't know that you want to have a vote with four of us that you know two we, of them we, are realistically we, we probably have until the end of the month before it goes up for auction okay. this this is trying to avoid that i see and peter are other people talking with them about it or not is this just no so far it's just us okay peter asked us to put it on tonight knowing yeah. he wouldn't be here so i i don't think it makes sense to wait to do that I mean, and, and it is going, you know, there is that chance we can gamble and when it does go up for auction, too. And when's that scheduled for? It's not scheduled yet. Hmm. They have one more vehicle that they have to get in service for the town, and then they have a big lot of vehicles going up for, for auction. So I still don't understand, though, the funding national. piece, how it gets paid for. I mean, if it's, she was talking about a bond. Well, Sarah. Yeah, she's still, she's doing research. Oh, okay. Right so, but if you didn't have a bond, you would take it out of some slush fund, right? I mean, that's yeah, what you would do, and then you wouldn't have to. Out of the budget, yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't have to. Um, I'm just putting out the minutes from the meeting where we discussed that, uh, 2017. So... <clears throat> Part of the reason I wanted us to come back was to address, you know, Peter said to me, what about your fundraising? And to let you know that we do have fundraising and we do use it for things that we don't ask the town for and make you more aware of that. And secondly, to answer Mary's question about how often it goes out and, uh, you know, to give a little, you know, we didn't get into what it actually does. And so, well, thanks, Mark. Yeah. You know. And to you know, offer some you know some funds toward it. Mm -hmm. And like I said, when we submitted our budget, we were looking at one to two years down the road for this. But then it, it just kind of like and six fell in our laps. This fell in our laps, and it looks like a a wise investment and use of of taxpayer funds mm -hmm. and saving potentially. Quite a few thousand dollars next year the year after i think this was in the minutes that there could be some value to the one you have now yeah uh, we, we're going to sell it I, I don't know how much it would be worth i'm guessing in the neighborhood of about Mary? two thousand mm -hmm. and, and that would obviously go towards whether it's uh, however it's paid that mm -hmm. would go to offset that cost the highlighted section Mary. The only problem we have when it goes up for auction is it's going to be national. They're going to put on the right. website and everybody across the country will know about it. How soon would it take for you to find out, March, you know, what amount, you know, if you were looking to contribute, if we could use some of that 12000 towards this so that, so that we feel like that, like, $5,000 or something, like how to know what's earmarked or what um, isn't? Not very long. Okay, because I my my <laughs> personal opinion is that I would be supportive of this, but I would like to see some support from the fire department as well. So I would vote because I do think it's a good deal, but I also feel like um, that 
you know, coming to us as this, you know, suddenly it's an emergency when the truck probably could last another year or two. Yes, you'd have to put cost in. This is a good deal. You know, it sounds like something that is very, I mean, that kind of miles on that kind of car. I mean, you yeah. probably do have a long lifetime left of this, of this new vehicle and, you know, I mean, I would buy it if I needed a fire and, truck, and, and we're, but I don't. <laughs> we're specifically going after a gas engine because diesels, especially newer diesels, have to have the stuff put in them. And if it sits, it crystallizes, and then you run into massive mm -hmm. maintenance issues. So we that's that's that fits another bill well, it of seems like it's it a gas engine. It's five five years or less. It's also a safety thing. So, I mean, no, I know. We're driving an no, I totally yes. I I I. I, I I don't disagree yeah. with anything that you're saying so about this truck at all. Five years finance? Is that what it is? Five years or less. Five, five years, years or less, it can, voters need to do it. Over five years, it needs to be treated like a bond vote. That was the key. With all the required posting and advertising in the newspaper. That's why we had to treat that. Oh, vote. it's still, if it's five years or less, right. approved by the voters. But the thing is, it sounds like it's the same. It's approved. It has to be approved by the voters. Regardless. But if it's, but if it's more than five years, it has to be approved by the voters. Well, it has to be approved by the bond. 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 Out of our you either pay out, out your of your pockets, yes, or else you put it on the town meeting morning as a special article. Right. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. Which I mean, is it's, it's not going to be there. That won't be there. No town no. meeting. So well, you have the money. You have the authority to borrow. Right. Should have known that Right. Well, what do you guys sense? think? What's the sense? Well, I voted against it last time, so yeah, um, I did too. But if like if you guys could do five and we did eight for the thirteen, I mean. Well, we can't do five and do the lights. And, and do the do, lights. And do the you know the cap. You said the cap could be delayed, so take the cap out yeah. right for right. starters. Right, we're still gonna have to pay. You know, it takes a long time for eight firefighters to raise a thousand dollars. Or the three thousand five hundred. Well, Mark, that you have cost. to look at the realities, mm -hmm. right? Well, you could, could put it. In, you could talk to Red Redmond about that. Yeah. That would be a. Possibly, like that's what you would be raising money right. for for the tips, and they do. There's thousands mm -hmm. of a couple thousand dollars a month in red hen tips. I mean, you get on a wait list, but if we never asked before, I mean, it's very I, early in our budget year, but at least it would give us to some some time to look at where we are, where we think we might be, which. Yeah. It's not, it's not, so, not a great yeah, situation actually, either. We were perfectly fine until last April. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> you know, yeah. and then, yeah. then the budget So what's the to... sense of the board? Does anybody want to make a motion? Do we want to pass it over? What do we want to do? If you want to pass it over until I can come up with we discuss? Maybe. I mean, or, or I mean, we, you know, we could also, and then maybe turn it into a motion that's like, we will give X number of dollars towards this as opposed to the whole purchase. And then, you know, that gives. Well, I mean, I think we ought to vote on it. Peter asked if we could. I have also. a question. Um, as a 501C, can you borrow? I don't see why not. I don't, no, I, I, why not? I don't know if anybody would Wait, what are we loan doing? to us because we don't have a regular income. That's true. You need to be able to pay well, back. Wait a your second. Note. That's not true. On your last well, you tax do, return, you, you, you said that the money you got from the town was your regular income. Isn't that right, Dorinda? Well, it's it counts as it, it's part of their income. It's not a guaranteed I think it's income unless. The but isn't that what their last? Wasn't that their last that tax return? It shows on the tax return that they put it into their tax return. The, the thirty-five thousand, forty thousand, or sixty, whatever it is 60? that the town gives you goes on to your tax return. So I don't know if they would consider that income or not. Seventy-four thousand, seventy-five thousand. Because you know, I don't think we're not. No. We're not going to borrow money. Yeah, I, you know, no, I don't. We're a volunteer organization. Yeah. No, we're but I'm thinking money. if we have to go to the, if it's a becomes a vote, but 
that to the if the voters have to vote it in, but you're saying we would come in under that, right? Under the five years or whatever. Well, when I said five still, years or under, five years yeah, or but under. then if it's over so five years, years, you still have to. So, get so yeah, so there's, the way. voters have to be. Re if, we're, if we're borrowing anything, the voters have to be. So involved. that's what it comes down to. So if you're I was just looking at if somebody had to go out and borrow, you guys wouldn't be under the same obligation as the town, and that's kind of why that question. And, and but but with that, I'm sure we're not going to. Even if we were to go down that route, which. I do not want to go down, but we were, we wouldn't get the interest rate that, that you guys get. That's true. Nice. That's you know, we probably oh. would be looking at 8%. Right. Yeah, it wouldn't it'd be like a personal yeah, loan. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> so if you, if, okay, so here's yeah. the thing. I think at this very moment in time, I don't feel comfortable voting for the entire thing yeah. um, unless there is some stake from these guys. And so, so like, I would propose that we say, that we make a motion of nine, th that we will contribute $9,000 and you guys have to come up with four. I, or, no, and if you can't, then. Plus the 15 16. that we've already offered you, plus 15, we don't have a cap. 1,000? 1,500. 1,500, yeah. The lights, the, the right, and the cap, well, you'll have. proposing that's nine. What I'm, propo I'm proposing nine, and, okay. uh, you know, that's, that's what I would say, and I would feel comfortable voting for that. Um, and I do believe that there are opportunities out there that, um, that, I mean, I can talk to Red Hen. I know Red Hen. I'll talk to them and say, you know, we're. Why not have really the wanna... fire department do that after yeah. all? Yeah. Well, right. this, is they the can. I'm just this is the first I've heard that yeah. Red Hen does this. So. Yeah. No, they do. They donate their tips every month. You just have to. Are picture? you making that as a motion? I'm making that as a motion that we would contribute $9,000 from our general fund, I guess. Uh, yeah, it would have to be. From. Yeah. And uh, to support cool. the purchase of this vehicle. Is there a second for the motion? <coughs> I'll second. Further discussion? So it'd be $9,000 from the general fund. Well, where else where, is it going to come from? We can, Wherever where it we, comes from. From our budget. But not on a bond. Don't you think we should have that in the motion somewhere where the money's coming from? I know someone's going to ask down the road. Well, where, where is do, their money? That's a good take question. Take down the discretionary fund. Discretionary fund. We don't we have $9,000. We don't have $9,000. No, we, we, no, we, 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 <laughs> yeah, we don't have it. I mean, you're we have it essentially a, overspend, you yeah. know? That's... Mm. All those rock and hard place kind of issues, you know. I just, I think it's a, to me, it's a compromise, and I know that it's not a compromise that you guys it's like, but I feel balance. like this is a good mm -hmm. deal, mm -hmm. and fun you know, I don't necessarily. Yes. I, don't I mean, know yes, there will be. That. That. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's that? I don't know if we could do that. What? Take it out of the fund balance. Why not? Why not? Yes, we can. Yeah, we can. Why not? I mean, we've never done it for anything other than helping with our tax rate. We haven't. Um, That's well, if yeah. you overspend your budget, it comes but, out yeah, of the yeah. balance. Exactly. I'm really opposed to that. Uh, that's essentially what that's the only we're place the money is. There's, there's no, there's no other money because it's, it's there's no line there's item. There's yeah, there's no, it's not there. It's over budget. Yeah. Right. I mean, unless miraculously we don't have any storms this winter and our budget actually yeah. has such surplus. This money has to be provided for us with. I know. I'm just saying that yeah. the likelihood. When are they putting it up to, for auction? I would say probably the end of the month. End of the month. Mm -hmm. So do we want to pass over for tonight? I, to I mean, you know, we're not going to miraculously come up with any more money. No, we're not. But at least it would give us a chance. Just, to, so okay, look. At the end of October's financials, we were looking at. And that doesn't count that engine. <laughs> oh yeah, now there's an interesting fifty thousand. Fifty thousand dollars for the truck. That's Fifty-two the actually. Yeah. To repair. So I can already tell you it's an overexpenditure. Oh. Right. <laughs> like I said, maybe we won't have any more snow. <laughs> okay, so there's a motion and there's a second. Are you ready for a vote? All those in favor say aye. <laughs> aye. <laughs> All those opposed say no. 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 All right. I, yeah. I can't. Um, 
Wait, did you just yeah, I just want to say, you know, I, I know, I know you yes. guys need this, and it's it. The timing is just so bad. It's a good time for you in terms of being able to get it, but for the town, and I think in terms of our responsibility overall, when we just had this fifty some odd thousand dollar bill to to rebuild an engine on a truck, to spend more money, that's just going to drive our deficit higher is it, it, it's just phys fiscally not sound I think right now I mean if we had the money we thought we were going to have a surplus I don't think anybody would have you know, yeah I mean I actually thought sure. that was a good compromise and I, I think what you've told us yeah I mean that, more, all that makes sense more convinced me that it was a good deal than last time but I mean we have a budget in front of us that's already 11 percent higher than last year and we still have this fifty two thousand dollars on the engine right. for one of no, our we, trucks. No, we appreciate that. We yeah. understand that. Yeah. And, and also the same thing can happen to our rescue truck. You know, the engine can blow tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. we know that. Yeah. And we're, you know, we know that. But, and, so, like and, say, and we know that we're not going to get a better deal. I mean, we probably, probably are going to spend no. more. And we, that We didn't go hunting for this. This was yeah, not a hunting yeah, yeah, We understand that. Yeah, I know. We do understand that. Yeah. 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 It just so happens I work there. Yeah. yeah. And that's you the, work at the company? I, I work mean, in Colchester. Colchester. Oh. oh. So that's the only way we found out about it. And it's like, uh, just like yeah. you said, if there's something f comes down, come tell you. So we do Ask if I said it except yeah. 9,000. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can ask him anything. You just voted it down, though. <laughs> I know, maybe. The <laughs> yeah. thought, but I'm not taking my checkbook up at all. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming in. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Thanks for all the information. Okay. It's been a productive meeting. All right. So, anyone want to move approval of the November 19th minutes? So, I'll move. Second. Okay. Oh. No. Um, all those who were there, say, uh, say aye if you approve. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Remember how to say the motion. All those opposed? The ayes have it. I vote yes. Okay. So three to zero. We did. Okay, orders, orders we did. Phil, town computers. Uh, very, very quickly, um, I've set up 25 email accounts in the last couple of days. And I'm... <clears throat> I had to get a hold of Jared because I have to get some information for my domain registration to change the mail records so the stuff can just point from where it is. And so for, for um, I'm setting them all up so that they have the same um, password uh, and which, you know, when, the, when any of us get it, we'll have to sign okay. on and create our own, our own password. Um, and I found while I was doing that that they have some really, really nice tutorials on how to set up, uh, retrieve your email if you use Outlook or if you use a web-based client. So I'll get nice. those all together and send them out to people that says, this is your email address, this is your password, you're going to have to sign in, change it, and then depending upon how you want to set it up. So that's in process. Um, I'm, I'm going to order the uh, Chromebook for there, um, and I was talking to Dorinda, uh, there's some really good prices right now, pre-Christmas, I think, I think I found one for $89 at Best Buy, so it's, crazy. it's you know, like, so let's just do that. And, and, a Chromebook for $89? Yeah. What's a Chromebook? Yeah. Just basically just word processing? Yeah. Well, it's web browsing. Web, web. Chrome browser, but I mean, you have you can access if you have a Gmail account. Somebody can come in, they can log into their Gmail account, they can get their documents. But other than that, it's really just a way for them to get information, yeah. print something out on the. And that's all they need over there, right? Yeah. Anyway, all yeah. you need. Yeah. yeah. So you can web browse, yeah. but do, does it have an automatic hotspot? Or do it'll you just connect. We'll, connect. we'll we'll, we'll probably connect it to our guest network, so you but can't I mean, get inside you the. But I mean, if you took it places, you'd have to go into the to the hot spot of the different places. It yeah. doesn't come with one. Yeah, no, no, and it's not. Uh, but this uh, one is already wirelessly connected. Yeah. Oh, great. Um, and I'm working with Dell to um, set up a government account and get our tax exempt information in. I've got the computer spec. I was able to actually save a little bit more money um, on those because uh, I just went back and looked at configurations and the ability to you know, change, 
something here or there. Um, and we got um, good uh, long-term support. I think either. Oh yeah, they're running a special right now. You can get five years of support for the price of four. Um, and it's the kind of thing where, like, if something fails, they send you a new one, and then you send the other thing back, or they hot swap the, the piece of hard drive or something. Like that. Okay, so that's where we're at. Um, email I I should have up and running later this week, or early next week. Um, the computers. I don't know, working, you know, working with big corporations who have government accounts is not always particularly easy. And we're in, in between the holidays, so <laughs> it seems like everything slows down. Mm -hmm. So that's my piece. That's, that's nice. where we're at. Thanks, Phil. Thank you, Phil. Boy, well, we, we didn't know when we chose you that you're going to be such a help in yeah. this very complicated area. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, let's go back to Steve, Sarah. Did you? Okay. Yeah, Steve did. All right, so um, correspondence, Sarah. Nope, I'm pretty good. Great. I'll tell you this. To, uh, tomorrow, I am going to uh, Jennifer Evans' house down at um, on Rich oh. Road. Just She's still there? Well, I don't need, she is. Just got a note from uh, Lauren Oates, who's leaving FEMA, unfortunately. She left on Friday to say, guess what? That buyout, that 11th and a half hour buyout that we did for Lauren, for Jennifer, has come through. So FEMA is now at the inspection stage. Um, wow, that's taken forever. It has taken forever, but I mean, we were really lucky to get that under the wire. And that is a really bad road. It's a town road. If, if, uh, if Jennifer leaves, and that means we can discontinue that road, and Paul will be relieved. But also, that's going to be much safer for her. Some of the questions we're going to be asking tomorrow from the FEMA guys is, okay, so if the town gets this house, do we need to deconstruct it? And if so, that's a cost. Is, that, is it the one that's behind, beyond the, um, the house mobile the, home? Yes, it's the one at the very end. It really, it's, no one should be living there. It's going right into the stream. Really? So I don't know if you guys have any questions for me to ask FEMA about that, but right now there is no town match. FEMA's going to pay 75%. Uh, Jennifer's going to take it or leave it. And she takes it too. But she might have a mortgage. Hmm? Um, and all of that was in the application. Okay. okay. So then the town owns it. I believe the town owns it then. We get that little piece of land. Last time, uh, when they could burn it down as practice. That's exactly well, what exactly. That's what Patty suggested. And if our fire department won't do it, then Moortown or Berlin will do it. We'll be happy. It's right by the water. It's a yeah. perfect. It's a perfect. Yeah. It's, I always like that little location <laughs> hidden back there, but it's, it's cool. not a good it's spot. Water. So anyway, yeah. if you guys have any questions for Fiona, just let me know. I wondered if I'd sign it. Yeah. Um, no, it's. I mean, you might ask them, Sarah. If, you know. The burning thing is either. appropriate if we have our town and maybe another town is willing to use right. it as a drill kind of yeah. thing. Okay, anything else? Um, okay, on the recreation fund. Yeah, well, now I'm going to move to the recreation fund. Didn't we do that already? No, no. Then, because he wanted $500, he being Who's he? Mitch. And we oh. s discovered that we, because um, Dorinda pulled up that we have this um, list of, did you get this list? Look, at, these are our funds, so we have one that's already called the Recreation Fund. So oh, Sarah was going to do some research. So I did some research on this, and it seems to me, <clears throat> I'm unclear, I doubt that the town voters in the past ever properly created a fund. <clears throat> it seems to me what happened was that you got a lot of money um, to create the multi-purpose area, the warming hut, that's when Bill, the Bill Callan days up there, and an yeah. association was created. Um, the first time that I can see that, and you got federal money, the first time that I can see that the voters ever gave money to that association was when uh, you wanted to hire somebody for $400 a year to manage that area. And the voters approved it. Um, Wendy Coyne the following year said, whatever happened to that $400? And Peter Hood said, you know, we never found anyone to manage it. And I think that was the genesis of that fund. And how much is in it now? 5000 So, so where did we get the other 5000 What other 5000 It's There's 5000 in that account. Well, I just think that the fund, you know, was whether cents. or not, the question was whether or not you needed to create a fund that was specifically geared toward paving the multi-purpose path. And I think that for 
say, or covering or whatever it is. Service. Is there is there anybody who who or is there any document at the bank that says what it is? No. So no. we could actually no. just use that, couldn't we? I think you could just use don't that. even have nearly enough if he's truly talking resurfacing. Yeah, well, that, but we don't need to create a new one. You don't one. need to create yeah, a new oh, okay. one. You can add to it. So his question is whether we one. add the 500 to what's so You're saying here. no, we can't. No, I'm saying, I'm saying, you know, the fund, for, the fund exists. The fund and there exists. may be some lapses in the records where I cannot fund for, find formally where the voters said, yes, please hold our money and return it over every year until you have enough to do this. I cannot find where the voters okay. ever said that, but I may have missed it. But the fund exists. But the fund exists. And it's to oversee that particular multi-purpose pad. If it's for the recreation, it, that's, that's being rec used for recreation. Exactly, just for that one particular area. That was right, we can't use it for... We can't use it to do something in right. Shady Real Park or to put... Right, but it could be that, used for that. Right. Got it. It could be used anything to do that's Benching, owned by the, the rent. Well, anything. we created, there's a BOR, essentially, yeah. for, you know... Uh, you got a lot of money from this from the federal government yeah. at the time, something like over $200,000. Well, I think it's to area. build the tennis course, is right. my well, recollection. Right, that, well, that's what that fund is supposed to be for, for that particular area. Well, so it works in perfectly with what it he does wants to do. Perfectly. Right. Okay. So what's your concern, that we don't know whether it's a legal fund or not? You know, if there's stipulations, it comes down to like oh. the cemetery fund yeah. that they had. You know, was it something that somebody granted mm -hmm. to them that could only be used for, for certain things? Certain things gotcha. But yeah. this had no. Well, she every can't fund find that every fund is that the voters create is where the voters are saying, "I may not live here in 20 years, but I'm willing to put money in now, and you can just hold it over and hold it over, right. hold it over." Uh -huh. That's that's where you have to have that approval and. I yeah. can't find that in the records, but as I said, I may have missed them. I think okay. then we have to assume that... I think we have to assume that it exists. Well, we, we don't have to assume that. We know it exists. We know it came connected with that part of town yeah, for recreational true. purposes. And I think that what we probably ought to do is use it toward that end. And if he wants to resurface the tennis courts, we have to find out what it costs and then decide whether we want to add to it. But... Um, it definitely seems to exist. Well, that's what he was asking for, right? That was $500. $500 well, he complete. wanted to create it because he didn't know oh, he right. had yeah. one. No, we don't, right. we don't it's need It's there, to. so. Well, no, but you could well, add But we could add to it. Yes. Yes. Except, of course, every 500 we take away means our <laughs> it sounds great. <laughs> An increase in our budget. So, anything else that you want to bring before the board? Anybody else? Are the orders all signed? Yes. yes. Oh, I want to know why we're buying tea and water from Mason's. Forty nine dollars. That was a tea and water was just all forty nine dollars altogether. Well, the water here is bad. Okay, I just Yeah. Um and I think that Dorinda said I could have a candy budget because I've been using my own money, including all the money for Halloween and all year long at every town meeting, so I actually slipped some candy into that too. That must have must have missed that. <laughs> And people keep drinking the tea. So researchers come in and drink the tea. Other people keep drinking the tea. So I bought one box of peppermint tea. I it hasn't asking. even been opened yet. Hey, I mean, you know, Washington Arts Co-op, you wouldn't believe the kind I of crap they fine. have there that they buy. Well, I really, the water here is awful. Yeah. It's just really, really, really I'm just bad. kidding, Sarah. Yeah. Is, it wa is this the water? This is, yeah. this is the good water, yeah. and everybody drinks it. And everybody it. comes in and drinks it. Yeah, yeah. they go, oh, yeah, good water. <laughs> well, yeah, that, and, I mean, like, if people are coming, you know, from outside yeah, and just saying, you're do. putting and a cup up that goes, hey, you know, throw a buck in the, yeah, you know, for a donation. Like, if you Donation cup out there. Yeah. yeah, right. You should have been always taking the candy. They'll buy the candy. Yeah, they'll buy the candy. All right, forget the boot shelf. Thing. We'll do the uh, town water and candy and tea. Yeah. Thing. No, but Sinking you fun. just put it by there. That's yeah. the difference between the two. Okay, I think that's a good idea. Yes, <laughs> we'll do that. <laughs> oh my God. Reserve fund for that. We're scraping the bottom. We really are. <laughs>
Well, you know, times are tough. <laughs> but I okay. think there was something else I think, in that $49. Oh. I think that $49 is more in the water, and I think there was something else in that. Maybe I don't know. I just saw it, and I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah. I think okay. we're ready. Envelopes. Yeah, I think we're not. Ready, then. Yeah. All right. Are <laughs> we all done, and it's only 10 to 7? Yeah. Hey, we're not too bad. We're 25 minutes off, but that's okay. Yeah, well, we gave the fire department a long we did. time. Yeah. All right. Are we doing minutes? Yeah. 6.55. Move to adjourn. I second. You don't have to. I know. All those in favor. <laughs> Aye. Aye. Um, okay. <laughs>